Hi, let's get started with Visual Studio. Microsoft Visual Studio is an integrated development environment from Microsoft. It is used to develop computer programs as well as websites, web apps, web services, and mobile apps. Visual Studio contains the best-in-class tools for any developer. For getting started with Visual Studio, make sure your computer is ready for Visual Studio. The recommended system requirements by Microsoft are a quad-core 2.6 GHz or faster processor, 8 GB of RAM or higher, and almost 20 GB of free hard disk space after fulfilling all the requirements. Visit the official website, visualstudio.microsoft.com, to download the Visual Studio Bootstrapper file. There are three versions of Visual Studio. One is Community, other is Professional, and then there is the Enterprise version. Choose the edition of Visual Studio that you want and click on the Download button. Once the downloading is complete, in your Download folder, you can see the downloaded Visual Studio Bootstrapper file. Run the downloaded executable file. It will ask you to acknowledge the Microsoft license terms and Microsoft privacy statement. Click the Continue button and installation will begin. This will take a couple of minutes for the installer to install. After the installer is installed, you can select the feature sets or workloads that you want. For example, choose the ASP.NET and Web Development Workload. You can choose Individual Components if you don't want to use the Workloads feature from the Individual Components tab. You can install language packs of your choice as well by switching to the Language Packs tab. You can reduce the installation footprint of Visual Studio on your system drive by changing the installation location in the Location tab. After you choose the workloads you want and set it all up, click the Install button. The status screen will appear to show the progress of Visual Studio installation. You can install or modify workloads or components at any time for installation if you didn't install them initially. You can do so by going to Tools, Get Tools and Features. It will take a couple of minutes to download and install the workloads. After Visual Studio installation is complete, choose the Launch button to get started developing with Visual Studio. The first thing you will see after opening Visual Studio is the Start window. It has options to clone or check out code, open an existing project, create a new project, or simply open a folder that contains some code files. Choose Create a New Project. A dialog box opens that says Create a New Project. Here you can search, filter, and pick a project template. It also shows a list of your recently used project templates. In the search box at the top, type in the console to filter the list of project types to those that contains console in their name. Further refine the search results by picking C Sharp or any other language of your choice from the language picker. If you selected C Sharp as your language, select the console app template and then click the Next button. On the Configure Your New Project page, accept the default project name and location and then click the Create button. The project is created and the file named program.cs is opened in the editor window. The editor shows the contents of files and it is where you will do the most of your coding work. Solution Explorer is typically on the right-hand side. It shows a graphical representation of the top hierarchy of files and folders in your project, solution, or code folder. The menu bar at the top groups commands related to the project you're working on into the categories. The search box is a quick and easy way to navigate to pretty much anything in Visual Studio. In the program.cs file, let's write a simple Hello World application that calls the console.writeLine method to display the literal string Hello World in the console window or the program output. 
You can start the application by choosing Start Without Debugging from the Debug menu on the menu bar, or you can also press Control plus F5. Visual Studio builds the app, and a console window opens with the message, Hello World! You now have a running app! Congratulations! To close the console window, press any key on your keyboard. So, that's how you get started with Visual Studio. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.